sorry, Striving for Light. Um, the second game uh, that Devon Tide and Tharinaka are working on. Uh, they were in chat yesterday for those who were there. And um, this is a game uh, about dungeon delving and having an infinite skill tree. Where you combine uh, various skills and weapons to form your character's playstyle. Uh, it's a very early version, so we're looking at prototype, it's version 0.2. So we have to keep that in mind. This is not a demo for something that's going to come out next week. And we'll give it one, month, one hour maximum to convince us. So, we are striving for light. This is the explanation tutorial. We dodge with space. The skill tree is on T. Left click to activate a skill, right click to deactivate a skill, or activate it again. So you can sort of. Oh, oh wait. Deactivate a skill. Um, mini map can be toggled if you want to see the big map later on. Uh, you can see the, the mouse, uh, the weapon follows the mouse, right? This has controller support, I think. Hey, Devin, welcome! We're just starting in. Glad you could make it. Thanks for joining us. I'm just explaining uh, the, the, the tiny bit of tutorial we get here. In the top left you see the, the current health. Oh, I could probably move the team for fun down here. Uh, the level and the XP and your skill points. No, you didn't. You did not. Not at all. And uh, my energy or stamina up here. I see new enemies. I've played... I think the last version I played was uh, 0.1.5 or something. And this is 0.2. It has traps already. Go away. Um, and spooters, they are new. They are creepy also. Um, so I control it with WASD, top-down perspective, and we're gonna, gonna go as far down the dungeon as possible. I like the background, by the way. Level up! And I already got hit twice. Uh, options. The music is a bit loud compared to the rest. Just on my end, at least. Right. Let's do that again. Dif different, you know, I started the game again and now we have a different... Um, we have a different layout. But traps are definitely new. I have not seen traps at all. Oh! Jump attack. That's the boss. No, the boss is indicated by red uh, symbol on the map. The other monsters do not announce themselves. So you have to be aware of some off-screen or close to off-screen. Oh, new weapon. A bigger sword. Yes. Ah, we got the first level up. Okay, cool. So, skill tree. And now we're coming to the part that I like about this game quite a bit. You start from here and every time, I think every time you put a skill in, the skill tree expands and it's a randomized layout. So it's a different skill tree every time you play, right? Our traps are from the 0.2 update. Awesome. Awesome. So let's have a look. What can we start with? Increased bullet damage. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to start with a melee build. Increased attack speed would be nice. What's this? This is new. Bursting companions. You have a chance to summon a bursting companion on enemy death. Oh, exploding minions. I like that. Okay, what's this? An additional bullet. Ah, uh, summon a melee companion. That's more like it. Okay, let's let's go for a melee build. Summons. I love it. <laughs> we didn't have summons last time. Eh. Yeah. So let's get that. Whoop. Oh, the dodge is a bit shorter. The dodge distance was uh, longer last time I played. Or I remember it wrong. That could also be. Chest bursters. Uh, well, we have the we have the boss direct here. I'm gonna try to get a skill point before. Oh, no, too late. Oh, I might get a skill point. I don't do much damage. Whoops. Go away, go away, go away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get... Uh... Ooh. I got hurt. 
Uh, this down here, the green bars are the, the melee stamina. Up here would be. Um, oh, what was switching weapon again? X? No. That's the, the mana. Uh, I don't really want the energy. Exploding bullets. Endurance regeneration. Yeah, let's get that. Ah, shift. Shift was there. Yeah. So you have from the start, you have the choice between ranged or melee. Melee, uh, ranged uses mana and uh, melee uses energy. I'm, I'm going to try to make a melee build. But swinging costs two. So uh, no, no spamming. You can obviously, if you have one health left, you can uh, choose to... Uh, Go for the safe solution and nuke them. The bullets. Ah, there you go. That's good. Gotcha. Ah, another level up. No button mesh. Exactly. So we have attack speed and more endurance regeneration. I could increase our endurance by one. I like that. See, and now the skill expanded, the skill tree, right? And is growing. Uh, last time, my biggest one was huge. I can't remember how many skills I put in. I think 20 or something. It was really cool. Uh, this applies burning to enemies on a ranged attack. On cast. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we might get this, though. So. More health, more endurance. That could be a path that I follow. I could also pick up health here. So we are we're good. As soon as I feel too squishy, uh, I can get some extra health. Come here. No. And now I have uh, double the double the endurance. No, not double. And one more. So it's easier to make two swings. I think that's what I wanted to say. I love the range of this big sword. I think last time I made it a throwing uh, a boomerang build, where you throw the weapon and then it returns to you after a time. That was fun. Right, cool. Okay, so another point. Nice, another health there. Now I'm gonna stick to my melee plan, see what I get. Ah, cycling. Uh, uh, well, yeah, cyclone, Cy cyclic might. That's pretty cool. And splitter throw. Ah. Oh, now we get options. Your melee attacks cast a glaring light lasting three seconds, damaging surrounding enemies. Costs are applied per second. So two energy and two endurance additional. So this is very expensive, but if you can afford it, it's very powerful. Um, increase the shot angle. Bullet spawns by 30 degrees. Oh, what's that? Another... More bursting companions. Oh man. Uh, this might be a hybrid build. <laughs> Always a hybrid build. Now we've got four health maximum. We're level five. I think level six is the is, is still the maximum on the first dungeon floor, right? Oh, skill point, that was lucky. <laughs> Yes, okay, so I'm gonna get the cycling. Uh, I can leave this uh, active or deactive, deactivated. I will leave it active for now, it doesn't cost us anything extra. We unlocked another summon skill there, I saw that. Oh, you buggers. So it's, it's a no button mashing. You have to watch your positioning game. And basically, on each level, your goal is to get to the exit portal, which you unlock by killing the boss. That didn't change, right, Devin? We need the key to unlock this, and after defeating the boss, we can go through here. Oh, there's another spooder. Spooder Bob. Come here. Uh, dodging uses up energy, so dodging and melee share one resource. There's another room here. 
Ah, it might change. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is something that's not super important in the beginning, is it? I mean, you can you can always uh, add a different progression mechanic, but the uh, the core the core uh, currently is building the skill trees, and it's a lot of fun. Mm. I remember that I uh, last time I played a bit more often. Um, I played after streaming for hours. <laughs> I couldn't stop. It was insane. So now we've got uh, the cyclic mine. Right? We swing all around. Whoosh. Ah, he got... Oh, he spawns uh, minions. Yeah, I can hit him with uh, twice with one swing. If I position carefully. Oh. I got hit, but I've got some spare health bobs here. Yeah, that works. Oh. I have to go around, like uh, clockwise. Ah, <laughs> Yes! Oh, spider. Oh, I had you. We got another skill point. Wait, did these respawn from earlier? No. No, I just didn't go up there. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, you, that's the, the, the first part you're working on. I think you're picking the right the right thing to focus on. If, uh, you know, you don't mind me saying so. Oh, the companion. I want to see that. If I pick this, I lower my maximum endurance and energy by one, though. Okay, my attacks scatter. I need to show you that. Looks like that. But now... Three endurance per hit, right? It's a lot. Oh, we could... We could go... And use an upgraded mage uh, staff that shoots shadow bolts. And uh, if the, if that's too slow, I could go for this. It's a bit faster. And uses one less energy. Oh, can't reach the big one. Come on. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Can't get the sword back. No. Now that could be something not to, to not position chests so low, uh, so close to the wall. Oh well, that's why I played this, right? So you can you can you can see the things that you don't want to see, and uh, change it. Perfect. Now we go to level two with the faster sword, which might just be saving my butt. Ew, you're ugly. I'll leave you there. Oh, we've got the snakes here. They are ah. Fast. And they trigger a poison explosion on move. Yeah. Oh, those are destructible. Ah. Interesting. Ah, I see the bullet sc scatter is al also different every time you do swing your weapon. The bullet scatter is not identical every time. Yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah, exactly. The, the, it was a helpful it was a helpful chest. Now we got a nasty boss up there, so I'll have to I have to get this these guys first here. Yeah. Oh, they got me again. I always play a bit too reckless. But you, you gotta learn the enemy's moves if you wanna survive. That was very close. Level up. I do like the fact that I don't heal on level up. That would make it too easy. Okay, so we want more um, more endurance regeneration. I, I think I might have to get a maximum endurance soon if I can. There's one. Oh, I can get so much attack speed. 
Yeah, I, I think going going here to get health and endurance is a good is a good idea. These these should be my next three picks. And uh, if I feel like this is too expensive, I can take the can take this and deactivate it until I can afford it again. So you don't get stuck. Oh, they got me! No, the snakes are dangerous. Uh, they leave this nova when they move, and they are really fast. Level 8, floor 2, 51 XP. I can do better. It has controller support already, right? Yeah, mouse, arrow, gamepad. Gamepad support. Oh, we will need that. <laughs> now he died! Again. Level up. What do we get? Oh, we start with the... You see, then we can try the the, uh, the Cycling Might again. We could just get it as a first pick. Very good. Uh, charge your shots. That's for a range build. Attack speed increase. Melee hits cause explosions. Oh, yeah, perfect. We've got an exploding cycling uh, Cyclone build. Liking it. So the monsters don't get damaged by the traps, eh? Eaters. <laughs> right, okay, so we get uh, this that costs additional endurance, which I will get here. That unlocks more attack speed and more attack speed. Yeah, okay, so we can we can try a similar build to the one I wanted to do earlier. That's perfect. Oh. Buddha Bob. Buddha Bob hit me twice? No, once. That's all right. Yeah, four endurance is good. Let's explore up here. F for the skill tree as well. So you don't need to change from the controller to the mouse and keyboard. That's good. Four. Um, <laughs> a ranged companion, also cool. More regeneration, maximum health. I'll get maximum health. Oh, nice movement speed. Uh, maybe we can get if you if we build this way, I can I can probably get it. Movement speed is super powerful. I feel most of the time. It's, an, it's also dangerous, right? Moving away from danger makes you move into danger faster. Uh, <laughs> so. Mind the gap and all that. I hope it's not too obvious that I played this before. <laughs> I mean, I died on the second floor, so I didn't make it too obvious. Uh, let's see if we can get the movement speed. No, it, it extended here for now. Your melee hits burn the ground on enemy hit. So under the enemy that you hit. That's good. Um, yeah, attack speed and explosions. Uh, I want one more endurance before I pick the explosions though. Good Bob. Oh. Yeah. I got hit on that one. To totally not necessary. Alright. There's one heart next to the boss. And I'll get one more level up. Aw, nobody lurking in the corner here. Aha! Knew it. Ooh. We have another spider. Are you considering putting uh, putting monsters in danger of the traps? You probably have to do a lot of pathing if you want to do that, right? The monsters want to avoid the traps that would make the dungeon probably feel very small all of a sudden. 
But it would be kind of cool to be able to push the monsters in. <laughs> would be very satisfying. Whoopsie daisy. Level up. It's probably it's probably not a good idea, but it would be satisfying to to do that as a, uh, from the player's perspective. Uh, is that one maximum endurance? Yes, we'll take that. Oh, nice! It connected here. That's good. That's, I like that. The gamble of getting another connection so you can avoid spending two points you don't, you don't want to spend. Increase bullet speed. All right, and the glaring light. We could uh, also try that. If I want to try a lot of things, I need to survive. And it is not an easy game. This one. Go oh, away. That's the boss up there. Oh. I like the wasp kind of look better than the bees. Before it was bees, I think. Oh, an ice staff. Let's show that. Here. Frost. Frost. Um, another skill point. Uh, well, we have... We have five endurance. Let's go for the explosions next. Oh, this connected. So I have uh, the choice. Good. Go for the boss. Cheesing it. Oh, you're a fast one. Oh, that was... Yeah. I have a bit of uh, wiggle room when they su summon. Yeah, they've got a summon animation. And when they do that... Come here. I have some time to get some extra hits in. But then I might also need a dodge. So spamming all the endurance... It's kind of dangerous. Like this. That was dangerous. It's the summon move. Yes! Perfect. Well, not perfect, but good. Good enough. Hey, Data, welcome. How's it going? How's it going? And we have another skill point, so we can activate the explosions. Oh, area of effect increase. <laughs> yeah, okay, I want that. It's ah, it's two points I don't want to spend, so I could try to get the ex extra endurance. What's this? Oh, more explosions. Ooh, temptation. <laughs> temptation. Now I'm level seven. And I'm going to get my loot. That looks kind of dangerous. Aha! Two health and a skill point. So you get different loot from the boxes also. It's not the same every time. But I didn't get the connection to the movement speed yet. And these two I don't want to have yet. I'm going to get more endurance. Oh, look at that. Now I have a connection here. Ah, going to get the max maximum health here, hoping to go over there. Because that's the melee skill, right? I could use that. Okay, we are at full health. I can go to the portal, which is up top. Have a sip of coffee. While not walking into traps. Parrots! All the parrots. Ooh. Those are the explosions. And 50% uh, extra area of effect on that. Yes. Oh crap, I'm surrounded. Okay, let's learn le let's learn how to attack snakes. Yeah, well that worked, but I still got hit. Love it. You have to watch their their diagonal stuff. So you attack them from up up top. 
and they are fast. Uh, <laughs> do I want to? Ah, we didn't get the connection here. Okay. But I'll just uh, be stacking health. See? Area effect. Lovely. Kill all the mushrooms. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, hit again. I'm slow. I haven't had enough coffee yet. Still got two health. I need to kill all the mushrooms because I want to find out if I can get a drop from them or not. Oh my, oh my, snakeys are, snakeys are scary. Level up. Okay. I'm currently inclined to pick just more health so I can stay alive. Energy, health, oh, movement speed over here. See, that's already more tempting. But it's elusive. The movement speed is elusive. Uh, huh. Data, data, data. What do you mean, parrot booster? Data. What did you mean? Oh, look, I've got so much health that the hearts are already smaller, so they all fit on the screen. Oh, yeah. Snakes are much easier to handle with a uh, with a bigger sword. Or with harder hits. A chat integration. Are you considering that, Devin? Is that something you are uh, thinking about? Like the viewers decide about the loot chest drop? Like they can vote weapon or life or skill? Ah, I get drops from the mushroom. Nice. Bloody bastards, I hate them. Means it's very good that they're in the game. Oh, bollocks. Can't move around the tree, can you? <laughs> um. I have to get that increase. Oh, nice. Look at that. Scattering hits. Oh, area first, right? Area first. Uh, I'm at three health. Definitely not too much. Level 10. Oh, oh wait. I'm uh, not yet good at judging the range of this sword. I played a lot with... Oh, crap. I play, <laughs> played a lot with the big one. With the big sword. Lower, better reach. Let's avoid the boss for a second. Damn it, damn. Uh, the yellow nodes are movement speed, Mikaios. All right, it's not a final decision yet. Okay. Uh, the the yellow ones are movement speed. All right, and then you have this here. It's an area effect. In general, I think you could say that uh, blue is. Connected to energy and range combat. And green is melee. And red is health and attack speed. And then you've got purple, which is uh, pets. That's new. Let's go here. Drop a heart. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Ha 
can't I can't face the boss on uh, low level of health. Uh oh. Better. Controlled snake execution. I've got four health now. I could give it a try. It's it's a hard decision with the with the Twitch integration. I keep if I check out games, I keep saying, "Yeah, cool idea, but it's not doing enough, or it's doing too much." Right? Okay, now I can get the area increase on the explosions, which doesn't cost extra energy. Um, bullet speed, bullet range doesn't cost extra energy as well, so I can leave that on. Yeah, perfect. Next up, we can pick Scatter. I've uh, got uh, two for six endurance. That should be fine. Oh. It's a big explosion. Yeah, it, it already hit the... Uh, the scooter bob up there. Oh. Yeah, okay. I was half asleep on that one. Whoops. I was so excited with all the explosions that I kinda forgot to not get hit. Seven days to die has a Twitch integration. Uh huh. I wouldn't have expected that game to have anything new since 2015, but apparently, <laughs> apparently I was wrong. I like I liked how that worked out, right? And now, uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, let's let's get scattering. Got more energy here. Right, so my hit scatter on hitting the enemy, it costs one additional endurance now to hit something. Or to swing. Well three per. So I've got two solid hits before. Oh, very good. I might get back to the boss on full health. Oh, bastard. Yeah, see, I was getting spammy already. Spammy. Yeah. Uh, more in regeneration, huh? Yeah, I need more regeneration. More energy regeneration. It's slow. Uh, endurance regeneration, sorry. It's a bit slow. It's a danger zone, all right. Do, do, do. Might be a mod. All right, that could be. But yeah, I've, I have not looked at seven days to die in five to ten years. More five like ten, I guess. It's all about how it's implemented. You will see how the new progression system actually works out and if that will synergize well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good that's a good plan. There's the energy regeneration. Uh, endurance regeneration. Cool. And I will put probably put another one on top of it. Now to kill the boss. Oh, it's better. Yeah, but I will put all we've got is spare. Spare health that I just used up for no reason. Oh, come on, Nemo. That was bad. Got hit twice. No more spare health. <laughs> no.
I hit again. <laughs> Where's the boss? <gasps> Booty bomb. Oh. Booty bomb has a uh, area effect. Uh oh. I don't do a ton of damage to them. Although I have potential multi hits. Ooh, down to two health. Ah. Oh, come on. Give me a heart. They did not. That would have been perfect. Do I have one lying around? No. Damn it! <laughs> I don't want to die again! Alright, you guys. Hearts. Nice. Oh, I gotta be very careful now. That's not being very careful. I thought I could get more multi hits in with the scatter because they are so big. Ah! Ah! Okay, so what did we learn? The, the builds, I, or the build I tried, because it was basically the same version, is too slow. Let's try range build. <laughs> I gotta say I prefer melee builds, but range builds are potentially powerful, because uh, especially early on, because you still have all, all your energy to dodge, right? Oh. Let's have a look. Increased shot angle. Uh, melee hits. Area. Area effect is good. Burning bullets. Okay, let's get the shot angle first. See what we get. Boomerang, yeah, okay. <laughs> Any melee stuff now. <laughs> yeah, still, I'm, I'm still gonna try to build a, a ranged one. Blob. There, usually you look at your skill tree, right? When you start, you look at your skill tree, see the first options, and then you decide what kind of build you want to make. Um, so I'm going to go here. Oh, movement speed here. Effect here. More bullet spread. All right, additional bullets would be off. Very good. A heal. speed and range good as you can see the range is limited in the beginning so getting more range is very helpful uh, energy regeneration is something I, I could pick up now also sword but I play I play this like uh, Grim Dawn or other ARPGs I like I like to stick to the to the weapon I intend to use from early on even though if it might be more effective to swing the sword in between um, it's ruining my immersion whoops don't die I'm being silly here okay let's pick that up and uh, get the movement speed. Hit scatter. That's melee though. Speed! Yeah, I'm 
faster than my bullets now. Ooh, we found a dagger. Stabby, 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 stabby. Just to show the different weapon type. Um, I think I had also a successful dagger build. Can't remember now. That's the closest melee, closest range melee weapon you can find. Whoops. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely let myself get hit too much. Uh, that's not going to change anytime soon. M, bullet speed, bullet range, energy regeneration. Energy regeneration. Oh, three, three bits here. Cool. Additional energy. Let's pick the additional. Got one more here. And more speed. Okay, we get fast bullets. I'm still looking for something uh, in terms of this here. Right, so getting getting the attack speed to get to this might just be worth it. Badger, welcome. What's the timer saying? 20 minutes. Okay, cool. I have to show the pets. At some point. Oh, I was an enemy. <laughs> Flying visit. How is the F1? Well, I don't know. I like my Sundays exciting. <laughs> Okay, boss is over there. You're not the boss. Come here. Drop a skill point. <laughs> ah, it's good to have an extra health here. Oh, what's the spider doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Oh, I thought it was already it was already uh, happening. Why can't you see the future? That would be so nice, though. Now let's go over here. No, don't eat me. Ah, right. Uh, first demo was a bit of a pooper because it was supposed to be a remaster of a very old game, um, but it didn't do much remastering other than making it run on Windows 10. So, I kind of expected more, but we, yeah, we talked about it and it could be that they wanted it to stay very original, but it stayed a bit too original. <laughs> I mean, it was playable, but compared to modern games, it was, do I get XP for these buggers? Probably not. No, they are summons. Okay, very good. Good. Mm, bullet speed. I wanted the the uh, Bernie Bernie projectiles, right? We get those. And the loot. <laughs> oh yeah, demo demos are good. This one is the the game that Deventide and uh, Tharinaka are developing. Oh, I didn't get a skill point. And uh, I haven't played in a bit since um, an early alpha. And now the, it's still very early in the development. It's version 0.2. But the, the gameplay as such, I find very satisfying. Uh, I'm not making a very good display of being being a veteran, though. I died twice on the second floor. Skill point. Now we've got burning projectiles. Uh so I leave behind the burning ground, right? That might seem not super powerful, but if you remember how the snakes moved in the uh, on the second floor, there's something to 
Ooh, how do you get to that? There's something to that. Uh, I think I can leave. That heart down there I don't need. I did pick the big sword from the box. And we're done here. Oh, now it didn't step into it. Rude. See? They get damaged. Now I definitely need that energy regeneration. Come here. Burn. Hmm. Good doom with more direction. You're on fire. Level up. Right, now I really need that uh, regeneration. Let's pick that. We got another boomerang here. Ah. Oh yeah, now we've got better regeneration. I think I could add another point to that though. Oh, hello. Would you please step into the fire things? It's not a super powerful damage over time build yet, but everything that helps with those buggers. As you can maybe already see, this is the safer version of fighting those those snakies. Level up. That increases the area of effect of the burning. Yes. But it will be easier to make everything burn. Snap. <laughs> yeah, remember that uh, Flames of Ignifart build in Grim Dawn? That was my most original build, I think. <laughs> that was really good. A fire. Pop. Still got only three maximum health. That's a bit. Remember how many uh, health points I had with the melee build? That changes. That changes. Uh, when you, as soon as you get range, you're like, ah, oh, I have enough uh, endurance. I don't need health. <laughs> Which is not true, but so far it has worked out for me. Lucky. Um, bullet range, bullet speed, yeah, why not? But also... Health. More regeneration and then health. I'm not super lucky with the, with the ranged skills here, but... Um, for, for now, right? We're good. I feel like it would be nice to have more... Um, <laughs> more health now, though. Ooh. Fire. Oh, wow. That's what they do. <laughs> they eat you. I managed to avoid them until now. Bastard traps. Spiders. You burn. Oh, mushroom harvest. Aha. Great to oh more angle oh an extra bullet ah oh, very good uh, endurance regeneration is not a total waste an extra bullet is definitely something I want and then we can get more speed and range and obviously it would be super cool if um, if we get uh, burning ground on hit 
Right, so we burn the ground where we stand and we burn the ground where the enemy gets hit. And we set the whole screen on fire and make the game crash. Wait, what? <laughs> That's not the plan, but it would help. <laughs> because then I could send the crash report. How much time do we have left? 10 minutes, okay. See? The game seems simple from the graphics and from the gameplay. From the animations also but i can easily spend five hours on this <laughs> in a row because it is so so motivating to try different builds and every time you get you play you get a new skill tree that you can mess with and then there's always a bit of a gamble where you think ah if i put a, get, a, a point here i could get a bridge with the other skill or maybe not but it's worth a try and then Try to figure out how much life you need and uh, what what attacks and what weapons you want. Now, I could still do with, with more energy regeneration. Like finding out if it's possible, whoopsie daisy, to per permanently shoot bullets. Like hold down the button and just go. It's it probably works, right? Where's the extra bullet? There. Okay, endurance regeneration, we got health there. And it looks so cool later on, the bigger it gets, right? It, it's... It's fancy. Let's see, let me get the boss kill this time. Yeah, exactly. Auto fire. I do remember it fondly. There were quite some games that had uh, a good reason for auto fire. Oh, another skill point. Oh, extra bullet. Yes! A bam! And of course we can shotgun. So one enemy can get hit by multiple bullets. Oh, the boss is up there. They do move around. They don't stay in one spot. burn the ground all you want uh, that was a bad shot on my part Ooh. Huh? I got hit I did stash some health I'm good. Let's turn off the bullet angle. So the shots are less spread out, which makes it much easier to, head, to hit the boss with uh, two, two bullets. Oh yes, the time has come to loot the stuffs. Uh, after the boss fight, I will actually activate it again. Oh, two swords, but we get uh, we get a skill point. Yeah, skill point, such a good drop. That is such a good drop. Um, speed and range for the bullets. Uh, yeah. Ah, 
Ah, yes! See, there's one of those gambles. It's like, it could connect to this. I really want this. So this will increase our burn burn effect again. And then we can get the, the bullet range. And I've got five more minutes. And maybe we can get the companion. That would be good. I want to see that. I was, I'm very curious about that. There's one skill point. Right, so we get the, the area effect. Oh, look how this spreads out here. Extra bullet multiplied oh so good <laughs> now this is floor three it's an ice floor ah, i still has those guys i think they look so cute they are they, they are fierce fierce beasts see they munched on me already twice yeah munched on me twice we've got spooder bobs here. Oh, that was close. What are those? <gasps> Holy moly! But only if I get close to them. Yeah, stay away, hungry bastards. Burn! get close to those would be cool to find oh those are still there they are um leaving behind a trail of stuff which makes them very much a hated enemy uh, but these these are like the snakes i find it very hard to dodge them ah but i got health back good let's go up Oh, those, those frost traps are dangerous. Gotta be... Gotta be careful about those. Gotcha. Ah, level up soon. Bob. Oh boy. Die. That was about time. Back to full health. Two, more, two and a half minutes for a level up. Come on, we want to see the minions. Want to see the minions. You could drop a skill point. Right? You could. What did I just pick? Bullet speed. All right. Cool. Yeah. Look at me missing. Turning off the angle again. Yeah. Oh! Bastard. I thought they were dead already. Totally misjudged that. Go, dude. Wakey, wakey. Oi! You take too much hits. Too many hits. But they're stuck there. Can't get him past it. Ah! Cheese tactics! Oh man! I'm such a slowpoke. Mmm, it's food bar. Then we've got a slimy here. I don't feel ready for the boss with two health. What does the timer say? 45 seconds. Enjoy the F1. Thanks for popping in. See me burn burn the grounds. Oh crap. Oh boy. Oh, that's new. 
Ah, pet, 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 pet. Here. You have a chance to summon a bursting companion companion on enemy death. Ah, uh, on enemy death. I'm not gonna kill that one, though. I'll override the counter until we kill an enemy. Alright, let's go here. He can follow us. Should find an enemy here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, give us a companion. Yes! <laughs> what was that? They look cute. Tiny and cute. <laughs> now I need to kill an enemy without having another enemy close by. It looks like a hedgehog. It's a hedgehog. An exploding hedgehog. <laughs> Ah, uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage though. I expected the companions that explode to do a bit more. But, uh... Hmm. But yeah. Crap. I hoped for it to do. I, when I say expected, that's not really what I mean. I hoped for it. A bit more. Come here. They are not as agile as their uh, regular counterparts. The bosses. Except for the bee. <gasps> I got a hedgehog. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, okay. So the pets are a very, very, very cool addition to the game. I love that. I really love that. I can't wait to play more. Uh, is there a way to save the current playthrough? The run? Can I continue later or do I have to start again? Devin, if you're still there. That would be interesting to know. Like an exit save. Is there an exit save? Oh crap! Ooh. Now I died. We don't need to know about the exit safe now. <laughs> ah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, another patch and check it out again. I really like the pets, so I need to play at least one or two more rounds tonight. Very cool. That was the second demo for today.